Hi friends, welcome to Operant Consultancy channel. In this video, we will learn about the structure of Indian government in detail. Government of India is created by the Constitution of India as the legislative, executive and judicial authority of the states and union territories of democratic republic. New Delhi is the capital or seat of the government of India. The government of India comprises three branches, the legislature, the executive and the judiciary. First, let's look at the legislature. The word legislature means the body of the country which is responsible for making the laws. India has a bicameral legislature. That means there are two houses which exercise the power to make laws for the country. The two houses are Lok Sabha, also known as Lower House or the House of the People. And second one is Rajya Sabha, which is also known as Upper House or the Council of States. The Lok Sabha has 543 members who are directly elected by the people of India. It is a temporary house and it can be dissolved only when the party in majority loses the support of its members. All the members are re-elected every five years. Rajya Sabha has a strength of 245 members. 233 members are representatives of the states and union territories which are elected by the legislatures or the lawmaking bodies or Vidhan Sabha of the states and union territories using single transferable votes through open ballot. And 12 are nominated by the president from the fields of arts, science, literature and other social services. It is a permanent house which cannot be dissolved and each member has a tenure of six years. Almost a third of the 233 member seats are designated for election every two years. For becoming a law, all the bills or draft of law proposal should be approved in both the houses of the parliament and have the assent of the president. The second branch of government is the executive. The word executive means to put a plan, order or course of action into effect. The executive branch is the sole authority responsible for the implementation of laws and daily administration of the country. It is headed by the President of India as its ceremonial head of state of India, who is also the commander-in-chief of the Indian Armed Forces. As for the constitution of India, the President can exercise his powers by subordinate authority of the Prime Minister of India. In practical situations, all the executive or power to enforce laws is exercised by the Prime Minister of India with the help of the Council of Ministers. The Prime Minister of India is the leader of the executive of the Government of India and head of the Council of Ministers. The Prime Minister is the leader of the majority party in the parliament. The President always acts on the advice of the Prime Minister and Cabinet as long as the advice is in accordance with the Constitution. The Cabinet of India includes the Prime Minister as its head and Cabinet Ministers from either of the two houses of the parliament. The Judiciary of India is an independent judiciary that means that the executive and the legislature bodies cannot interfere with its functioning. The decisions of judiciary are respected and not interfered with by other branches of the government and judges perform their duties without any fear or favor. The independence of the judiciary also requires the judiciary to be accountable to the constitution of India. The judiciary has a pyramidal structure with Supreme Court at the top. The high courts of respective states are below the Supreme Court and below them are the subordinate courts. 
these subordinate courts are district courts with district judges and at the bottom of the hierarchy are magistrates of second class and civil judge of junior division the supreme court of india is located in new delhi and the total number of judges are 34 including the chief justice of india chief justice of india is appointed by the president of india after consultation with the judges of the supreme court and high court every state and union territory has their own high court each state is further divided into judicial districts with district and sessions judge to preside over civil and criminal cases respectively below them are the courts of civil jurisdiction known by different names in different states here we have covered the basic structure of the government of india and in our upcoming videos we will cover the details about the functions of these branches please like and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching bye